what God is to you must be beyond bread and butter. Christ didn't come just because of bread and butter. Romans 15.4 Those things that are written at four times, they were written for who? For our learning. That we through the patience and the comfort of the scriptures we might have hope. If all Christ came for is prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. Where is the prosperity in our country today? If all Christ came for is your definition of prosperity, of money in your pocket, the contract, cars, then Nigeria should be the wealthiest country in the world by the number of churches that we have all over the places. And yet we have all of those churches, there's no righteousness. Where's the justice in the land? Where's the justice between you and your neighbor that you share the same compound? Are you living a just life? May our homes be filled with dancing, our streets filled, our streets filled with joy. If our streets are filled with joy, will there be kidnapping? Will there be insecurity? Village life has ceased. You can't leave your house open. Before you come back, your neighbors will go there, ransack it, take your phones, take everything there, and then sympathize with you when you come. May our streets be filled with joy. May injustice bow to Jesus as the people turn to pray. If they are praying people, Nigeria are praying people. Go to the express road. You can't even travel from Lagos to Ibadan again. Because people, various praying camps, with all those prayers, where's the justice? Is it God's will if we are praying that much? Why should an overseer be going with retinue of mobile policemen? I want to say, Pastor, it's because you are not a big man of God. I don't want to be that big man of God. If that's the definition of your big man of God, I don't want to be. I don't want to be. If I have, I'm calling upon God and I will depend on mobile police to be carrying gun and following me about and I'm representing a God. What's, look, look at Is that not stupidity? And then, those, those are the ones we hail. <laughs> big man of God. Stupid people. All of us, including myself. So don't think I'm just abusing you. Somebody is preaching, God is your covering, is your everlasting, and then he enters his car. Mobile is going in front. You, you are going on foot. Who will protect you? Are you not thinking? And yet we celebrate them, great men of God. Who has bewitched you? Who are now the Galatians? Galatians chapter 3, verse. Who has bewitched you? Oh, foolish Galatians. The man is saying, the Lord be with you, we protect you. You are too, you too loaded to be caused or something. And when you finish service, he enters his car, bulletproof. Car. Mobile is carrying gun in front. One at the back, and you, you are going on foot. Who is foolish? Our Muslim brothers leave their shoes at the door. And you believe, what do you leave at the door? You leave your brain at the door. Because we don't think. We come to church, we don't think. But those are the ones we respect. Those are our big men of God. When the blind is leading the blind, where will they end? Our streets should be filled with joy. Our homes filled with dancing. Injustice should bow. But it's in the church that you have people whose hearts are so dirty to one another, they are so hardened, bitterness, affronge, jealousy, all those things in the church. Where's the Christianity? Where's love? Tell me, where's the love? And then are those the people that will change the world? 